بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما so let's try to understand uh, something called random early detection now in the previous we have discussed about the tail drop tail drop issue where once the queue becomes full it will automatically start dropping the last packets irrespective of the priority or the marking values so to overcome this tail drop issues what we can do is we can go and configure something called random early detection when the random early detection what we'll do is it will selectively drop the traffic before the queue becomes full so basically the main job is to avoid the tail drop so it means let's say this is the maximum limit of the queue so what we are going to do is we are going to configure a maximum threshold values we will configure some values and the minimum threshold values so once it it starts going beyond this a uh, minimum to maximum threshold value it will start dropping the packets randomly so it will start randomly drop before the queue becomes full so just like uh, dropping your traffic before actually the queue becomes full so this will ensure that your high priority traffic gets into the queue and accordingly it will it will get forwarded okay so the main reason for implementing the random early detection is to overcome the tcp issues which uh, the tcp uh, synchronization and the starvation issues which was caused because of the tail drop so it's going to drop your packets based on the configured threshold values we are going to configure uh, something like the maximum and the minimum threshold values here and once it goes beyond this limit it will start uh, dropping the packets dropping the traffic before the queue becomes full so instead of doing the random uh, instead of doing the tail drop it is going to do that now again the packet drops occurs based on the values like i said there will be minimum threshold value the minimum limit so there is a minimum threshold value and as long as this limit is there let's say we are giving 32 as a minimum threshold value so as long as i'm receiving the packets within this limit means the queue size as long as it is 32 there will be no drop so it will allow let's say 32 is a line or it can be any number we can configure that and once it start exceeding this 32 number so which means let's say now we are receiving 35 uh, 35 packets per queue so once it goes beyond this now it will start doing the random drop so it will start random drop randomly it will drop Uh, the packets so but again in case if i'm receiving more than this maximum threshold value so which means in this limit in between this there will be a random drop but let's say in case if i'm receiving more and more packets and let's say the the maximum limit i said 40 this is a maximum threshold value still i'm receiving more packets even after randomly dropping so if it exceeding uh, 40 then automatically it will do something called tail drop here so anything exceeding the maximum limit again it will do the tail drop just like uh, all the packets which are waiting it will be dropped in case if i am receiving even uh, more than the maximum uh, threshold values so the random early detection works accordingly according to something like this Uh, but again the the limitation or the drawback with the random early detection mechanism is there is no differentiation of the flows means uh, there's no mechanism to differentiate and say that okay if the marking value is uh, ef i'm saying don't uh, don't drop and if the marking if the presence value is 0 or 1 then you can drop so there's no mechanism to differentiate these things okay so it's going to do random drop but there is no mechanism uh, exactly present in random early detection to do this and that's where we don't use a uh, random early detection and even the cisco doesn't support this so instead of a uh, red we use the similar one called weighted red so weighted random early detection now the almost the mechanism is almost similar in weighted random early detection the only difference is will be adding some weights 
weight means we can say if the president's value is one then it can be dropped compared to the president's value of five so depending upon the marking values and in case if there is any uh, random drop it has to do then it's going to drop your low priority traffic compared to the high priority traffic 